Hello everybody and welcome back to Monday.io. If it's your first time here, double welcome to you. Also, I love you. Today we are checking out Daily Cathonical, which I guess is a procedurally generated uh, adventure game, point and click sort of thing. Um, obviously inspired by HP Lovecraft, as you can tell from the title. Um, we are going to do the tutorial. I tried to do an easy game, and ooh, this looks complicated. Uh, and I'm bad at complicated video games. Uh, extra, extra, today, three mysterious deaths, eight missing people. People staying indoors after dark, just another crisp morning in the town. Your office awaits, your reporters ready to investigate. Uh, this is the in-game manual booklet. Click on the icons to turn the page. Uh, ooh. Okay. Events only occur as the time moves forward. This happens very slowly, but you can accelerate it by clicking on the clock. When an event occurs, the time stops until it is resolved. The colored circles on the status bar represent available reporters in the office, left side, and currently disables reporters, right side. Go over here. Um, to select a reporter, click on a circle, which will access your character sheet. To flip the side of the sheet, click on the reporter's name. Okay. Oh, fuck. How do I bring that, uh, F1? Yeah. The files in the chart, office tab, are the reporter stories. At 2 a.m. and 2 p.m., best three stories are selected and published automatically, for which the player is instantly rewarded with money. Uh, okay. Move between game screens. Use the tabs in the status bar. Okay. Click on the status bar to switch between the two status bar modes. What's the... Oh my god. In Daily Cathonical, you control six player characters, the reporters of the Daily Cathonical newspaper. Your goal is to solve all the mysteries in the town, both supernatural and mundane, and report on them to your readers. But Daily Cathonical isn't just a regular supernatural newspaper. The editor, you, and all the reporters are part of a large, informal, and an unofficial network of exorcists, demon hunters, and investigators, who all have dedicated their lives to solving the supernatural mysteries and protecting the fragile human society from the horrors of beyond. So, while eliminating horrors and infestations might not be the work you signed up for, it is, without a doubt, part of your everyday routine. If it isn't for the gratitude of the town's inhabitants, who prefer their districts without any monsters lurking around the corners, and are willing to express their gratitude in solid currency as well, you will have to deal with all kinds of nasties, even just because they usually stand in your way towards the truth. But worry not. Your reporters are weathered out and tough. Many of them, capable alchemists and enchanters already, or are just about to become such. They are more than ready for the task at hand, but will frequently need assistance, either from their friends and contacts or professional demon hunter retainers in the town. And when assistance simply isn't available, there are always spells and powerful artifacts to counter the advantages of your adversary. Okay. Uh... Twice a day, 2 a.m. and 2 p.m., your regular daily issue gets printed and your budget is refilled from the wallets of satisfied readers. This is important because allies and equipment needed to deal with obstacles come for a price. Some items need to be bought each time they are used, some just need ammunition or maintenance. The game makes no distinction between the two, so either it is an ammo clip for your pistol or tommy gun, can of dog food or a lockpick, equipping it has a fixed cost for every separate encounter. The only exception to this rule are reporters' personal items, which are always automatically used for free. Artifacts have no cost, but they come in limited numbers. Once spent, it is spent forever, unless you happen to find another of the kind. Hey, this is a concerning word, If you, unless you don't know. If you don't know that it is English slang for a cigarette. Just so you know, that's... I can't believe people still use that terminology, though. That's wild. Um, the office also has its own inventory. When equipping a reporter, the item will be taken from the office inventory, if available. If not, the item will be purchased if there is sufficient budget available. The player starts the game with $0 budget, but the inventory is stocked up with some essential items to make the beginning easier, and using these items early on can make a distinct strategical difference. The spells are free of charge, however. In order to cast the spell, one of the reagents or samples from the laboratory must be used. Magically initiate a reporter, either send them to train magic, have them read a tome, if available, 
or wait for their experience to accumulate until they level up automatically. The reporters gain experience by publishing stories. The more readers their stories have, the more experience will be gained. Okay, uh... Uh... The goal of the game is to solve all the cases and progress through all the chapters to the last one. Okay. What can I do with you, then? So... Oh! Contact offers. Reporter assignment. Now click on any available press card to assign the reporter to the location. Obituary. Assign the entire crew. Assign all reporters to various locations in the town. Alternatively, you may also assign them to lab duty. Click on the lab tab and set a spark to access the lab. Click on a flask to add or remove it from the lab order. Right click button on a flask to check its contents. Select a reporter from the status bar to send them to the laboratory. Uh... On the what? Create a new toughness potion. Mini ammo and Kraken blood. No stealth. Stealth. Uh. Wait. Lead plus bluestone. Let's do that. Can I... Is there like a different page? No. Oh, and that's tutorial stuff. Okay. Uh, Zaffir. Mm. Lapis Solaris, Lumina. No, that would probably make you glow. Some lamb. A human blood sample may be used in forensic analysis. Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Toughness and Frost. Resolve and Toughness. Toughness plus. Oh, eat that. Get rid of that. Resolve, Blessing, and Flame. Oops. Eat and Blessing. Resolve and Toughness. Toughness and added Antidote. Okay. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Now what? Yeah. How do I do it? Uh, hold on. I mean, uh, sure. Yeah. Railway station. People staying indoors after dark. Library. Residents moving out of the neighborhood. Okay. Lab. So if I do this... What does this do? Okay. How do I make a person do a thing? All intelligence collected on your current cases is kept in this cabinet. You can close the case here. Oh, I see. Uh... How do I make people do stuff in the lab? Obstacle on the way. To overcome an obstacle, you must engage it in a similar way to engaging an adversary. You may equip or auto-equip any kind of weapon or item in the attempt. There is no stealth throw when engaging the obstacle. I will. Uh, low threat, wall, and tough. Equip. Dynamite. We don't have any money for dynamite. We have zero money. Oh. Toughness. Uh, I'm... Close this. 
How do I close this? Okay. Can I just like have you engage? Engage. Oh. That didn't go well. Uh office. Agents. Okay. Create a new toughness potion. I put that in there. Wait. Can I put a person on that? Oh, cool. I can just do that, huh? Uh, where is the lab in here? Certain investigations. Send a reporter to any of the... T no, that's not what I want. Reagents and samples. Uh, usually not... A it is possible to have a in the laboratory to create a some... Um, to combine samples and reagents, visit the cabinets and add the flask to the lab order. When at least two flasks have been added, select an available reporter and use the laboratory command. Who is available? Uh, Peterson. Where is she? What? Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Reporter meets a person of interest. If a person you meet knows something, your contacts in particular, they will give you a statement. You may choose follow for more intriguing characters. Explorer. Recently arrived, recall the society regular scene at the theater. A UFO landed recently. Follow. Chester Combs had some tragic event in the past. Insignificant threat. A monster creature or gang, uh... Equip with <coughs> um resolve. Break. Continue. Engage. Your tactical advantage allows you to take photo of the adversary for the price of one plus. You may do so or carry over the entire TA to battle. Your reporter may be more or less traumatized, even injured, but the enemy was defeated. The path ahead is now open for the investigation to continue. Shotgun? We found money! And Adelaide has a shotgun now! Fuck yeah. Continue. Fun Lamb recently earned a large sum of money. SL recently bought a villa. Follow. I see no reason not to follow. Famous detective, person of interest, seen at the hotel. Follow. Sir Henry, I'm back. Who's Sir Henry? Oh, the guy, right. Sir Henry Laboratory. Oh, fuck. The reporter's mark is in trouble. To, in to aid them in battle, choose engage. Aiding a person will automatically make them your friendly ally in contact. There is no time to equip any additional items or spells, nor hire any allies. The mark, however, counts as ally in battle and will assist the reporter with their equipment and, and abilities. What do they have? The only way to drive the obstacle away is to engage them in spiritual or physical battle. Before doing so, you may equip or auto-equip any spells or items. Equip. Useless against his adversary. Holy Cross? What is this? The Hellhounds! Is a dog? What dog? Dog proved very useful this time? 
Blue Hampton. Oh no! Hellhounds slayed somebody. A lot of people just died. Hellhounds. Uh, Holy Cross. Equip. Continue. Maybe have a gun. Wait, hold on. Maybe have a gun? No, it's useless? Oh, okay. Dog proved very useful. Continue. Continue. Oh. Investigate. Oh, I see. Okay. Supernatural Phenomenon Encounter. It's a very strange game, and I'm like... Struggling to engage with it, but it's very, very interesting, and I'm kind of liking it. The reporter found a supernatural phenomenon to, an to analyze. You must decide to either investigate or return to office. Grotesque form appearing in mirrors. Ecto recorder. Investigate. Hey, what's that? Ah. Um. Found a heavy gate. Continue. Following the mark, Dolores was intercepted. Insignificant threat. Cultists! Auto-equip Dolores' dog. Let's give her... Brass Nux. Fuck yeah! Gage! With the help of the dog, Dolores surprised the adversary. Take photo. Engage! Fuck yeah! Got a shotgun. Dolores, all my ladies are getting good shotguns. While being followed, Jamie Morrison was attacked by a phantom scientist. These are weird sounds. Brittany Barker, Clarence Fitzpatrick, Kylie Woodward, Pansy Levine, and Jamie Morrison recently joined a cult. Brittany Barker just died, actually. Engage? Doc Dr. Abrams bravely aided the mark against the common adversary. Gammy Morrison and Dr. Abrams exercise the ghost. Continue. Huh. Is this a roguelike? This feels kind of like a roguelike. Dr. Abrams made a fan- Oh. Eliminate the loud noise to retrieve the hidden recorded message. Move the sliders to calibrate the filter. Move a slider, click the bar... The tape revealed that G. Salazar invented something. Heavy gate. Equip. I'll spend money for a lockpick. Continue. Gage. Ow. <laughs> While the lockpick helped, the obstacle is too strong for Adelaide. She got injured? With a heavy gate? Adelaide. Something weird is going on with Lou Hampton, Isidro West, and Saul Ayala. We met Isidro West. They, he was the detective that we met earlier. I'll follow. Brass Nux. Cool. Sam Spade scanning revealed the power level was low. Continue. Alien Frost Gun? Investigating the alien artifact confirmed that a UFO landed recently. Art Roth, Tamesha Burris, G. Salazar, and Delphi Strickland witnessed a UFO landing. Holy Cross Dog. Alien Frost Gun. Okay, we're done with the astronomy case. Uh, close. Case file number one. Well, number two, secret cult adventure. Jimmy Morrison recently returned from an adventure in Africa. Secret cult. Damn, KW sacrificed Delphi Strickland. Hmm. 
Train Emily's wits. Now that's really expensive. How do I send somebody to the lab? Oh yeah. Buddy's working in the lab, right? May not engage. Alright. So let's go downtown. Oh, we can't. Toughness brew. Hospital. Oh, I can have them go check their injuries, huh? Sam Spade found a phenomenon. Tuba playing on its own and floating in the air. Investigate. Bobby Gordon was strangled. CG and Chester Combs were in dispute. Jimmy Morrison, what's that? Sacrificed. Delphus Strickland. Follow. All quiet in the university. Colby Gordon ripped Chester Combs off in a business deal. Chester Combs killed CG because of the ripoff. Adelaide is back. Adelaide, go to hospital. Following the mark, Dr. Abrams found a journal in Antonio Beard's possession. Can you? Following the mark, I saw a sacrifice. Investigate. That seems important. In stash found, I found a pistol. Fuck yeah. Continue. Following the mark, Dolores was intercepted. Cultist. Insignificant threat. Whip. Already equipped. We have a shotgun. We're... Fine. Continue. Engage. Cool. Take photo. The tog of the shotgun proved very useful this time. I imagine so, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Phantom Magnate. Whip. Alien Frost Gun, Holy Bible. I can get a better look at what it's about. Hmm. No. Let's see. Artifact. Maybe magic? No, that doesn't seem to do anything. Investigation, spells, contacts, weapon. Holy Cross. Engage. Sam Spade failed to sneak on the adversary. The Holy Cross proved very useful this time. I exercised the ghost. Cool. Continue. Body armor, walking stick, sword. Dude, Sam Spade. We earned $786. Fuck yeah. Investigating the journal revealed that Jamie Morrison and Kylie Woodward sacrificed Chester Combs. Antonio Beard saw the sacrifice of CC. Continue. Oh. The tape revealed that Clarence Fitzpatrick and Pansy Levine sacrificed Demisha Burris. A lot of sacrifice going on. Emily, go check out the deaths downtown. Bobby Gordon was spending lots of money. All quiet in the theater. I am done. Railway station. People staying indoors after dark. That doesn't sound... That sounds... Moderately pressing. Cultists. You don't have a shotgun anymore? You have a pistol, you have an ecto recorder. Wait, did I just bring you back to the office? Oh, fuck. Hey, Henry's doing okay. Rad. Okay, so we have Henry and we have Adelaide left. Disturbed. Yeah, I imagine so. Downtown. Oh, we probably should have engaged with those, huh? Henry, go over here. Adelaide, go over there. Low threat. 
Fuck. What can be used? I could just blow it up with dynamite. Like. That doesn't sound particularly helpful. You can't do spells, huh? Maybe we'll do. Hey. The dynamite proved very useful this time. Yeah, I imagine it did. Continue. Okay. Adelaide does no longer have a shotgun. Where do your shotgun go? Can, I, can you only use it once? I guess you can only use it once. Gage. Photo. Gage. Cool. Continue. Got tarot cards. That's neat. Hidden stash found. P pistol. $70. Is infested by phantom scientists. <laughs> uh, engage. Take photo. We ha she has a shotgun. She's like, she's fine. She is a okay. She's tough. Hansi Levine allegedly finances corrupt politicians. Why do I care? Uh, you go, wait, where can you go? You can't go anywhere, huh? What is up with the gargoyle down here? Uh, equip, let's do a, oh, press next. Punch him. Take photo. Oh, shh. And you, you're fine. Come back to me, okay, though. Hey, obituary? Okay, obituary. We have nothing left to investigate. Travel map. Investigating the travel map confirmed that Jamie Morrison recently returned from an adventure to Africa. In Africa. Okay. Okay. That was... That was not anything significant to me. Whoa, wait, what? What is that? Oh, that lets me see who's who's here. Whoa! Zombie famous magnate! Hey, you need a sword. No, you know what? Continue. Engage. Take photo. Sir Rollins is injured. Wow. Is it, does that mean he's going to turn into a goddamn zombie? Brittany Barker frequents some... Okay. Um, I'm going to leave this here. Because this isn't super engaging video. But this game is super interesting and weird. And I like it a lot. Um, if you want to pick this game up and play it on your own... Uh, there's a link down in the description below. I would recommend it because this game seems weird and unique and interesting. Um, especially if you're a fan of, you know, Lovecraftian horror, stuff like that. Definitely check it out. Um, aside from that, I love you all. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night. And as always, I am no longer here.